Joining us live by telephone is public health practitioner, Dr. Adebayo Akintoba Akintayo. Thank you, doctor, for joining us on the news. Good morning, doctor. And how are you doing this morning? Uh, great, thank you. Nigeria just recorded 220 cases. And if you follow the trend, it has recorded more cases in the last one month. What would you say are the likely causes for this increase? Well, uh, two reasons. The first reason is that um, Due to the play, uh, measure put in place by the government to ensure that more people are tested, to generate awareness that uh, COVID-19 is real. And again, the very fact that a lot of people, a part of the public, they are not observing social distance. And that has been responsible for community transmission. There are predictions insinuating more cases. What should be the level of preparation to quickly prevent community transmission? Well, uh, the point is that community transmission is already here. What we can only do is to reduce uh, the extent of damage that community transmission can 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 do to this. To the, to the society. In that, regard, in that regard, Dr. Adebayo, what should be done? What should be put in place to reduce the spread of community transmission? Well, my advice is that people should listen to the, all the precautionary measures that have been mentioned by the government and the, and the NCDC. And that includes maintenance of social distancing, uh, regular hand washing with soap and water, ensuring that cup etiquette is maintained, and also ensuring that immediately that the cup or sneeze is done, the hands must be immediately washed. Dr. Then, yeah, Dr. Adibayo. because of the fact that there are so many asymptomatic carriers, it is important that everybody, whenever they are going out, must wear mask. From your observation, what is the situation like for health workers who are on the front line of COVID-19? Well, like I've said at another forum, it's now a war situation. And unfortunately, because the health workers are in the front line, and again, because of the limited resources, particularly as it relates to uh, PPE, that's uh, personal protection equipment, that is used for infection prevention and control. A lot of health workers are being exposed. And also, again, because of the fact that uh, most people are not generous in giving the health workers appropriate information regarding whether they have just recently returned from a trip or whether they have had contact with a confirmed case, it became very difficult for health workers to adequately and appropriately protect themselves. Doctor, would you ever need to recruit more staff at this point in time? Can you say that again, sir? Would there be any need to re recruit more staff to increase the, um, the, the, human, the human capacity? More staff at this point? Okay. The, in, in the, unfortunately, there has always been a chronic or perennial uh, shortage of uh, medical personnel. And that informs the fact that... Um, uh, we do not really have accurate data to appropriately determine the number of uh, uh, health workers that we really need for our country. So in that regard, it is really necessary that we really do a, a holistic assessment of the system so that we really have uh, to, to ensure that more health workers are, are, are employed all right, Doctor, come tomorrow, the 4th of May, the gradual easing of the lockdown begins as people are allowed to move from the hours of um, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Now, how would you advise Nigerians to take responsibility for themselves when it comes to regard to social distancing and what they should do when in public places, aside um, 
wearing the face marks that you've earlier talked about? Well, my, my, I, have, I have a big deal of... Um, I'm afraid, more or less, because I know Nigerians for who they are. They might not be um, com full compliance with um, uh, uh, total masking of everyone or, or general masking that is being recommended and social distance. And if we take um, a deep dive into history, we know that uh, during the Spanish uh, flu, when the first uh, lockdown was, re was reduced, there was a second wave of, of, of infections, which is, is eventually leads to a lot of mortality. So what I would suggest now is that uh, as we're preparing for partial lockdown, we don't, we, the government must ensure that, must ensure that the people are encouraged to maintain, I mean, um, all the necessary precautions, face masking and um, uh, social distancing. And again, they must equally ensure that hand washing uh, 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 facilities, or if not possible, the um, hand sanitizers are made for costly to be available everywhere for people to use in order to reduce the spread of infection. Dr. Adebayo, thank you for joining us and for your time on News on the Hour. It's a pleasure.